Hey, this is Rick with Shooter1721. Look what we got here. Crossman's, that's right, Crossman's first PCP, the Icon. Let's start with the back here. We got the rubber butt pad back here. We got synthetic stock here, 11 millimeter dovetail on top. That's important, whatever mounts you're getting. Of course, today we're running the center point 3 to 12 by 44 on top, side focus here. Nice clear scope for this, excellent comes with a 10 shot mag it is bold action it does have a two stage trigger it has i think we're at 130 uh, cc's of air for this so it doesn't have a huge air reservoir uh, but it does come <laughs> threaded for your donnie to go on the end here i got the coil on here today which is a huge feature for me because it'll keep this gun super quiet and you see that there's a fiber optic sight here there is a rear sight here, but we had to take it off for the video so we can scope the gun to show the accuracy and uh, with, with a scope using optics. And you can put it right back on. But that's enough talking about this gun. Let's go shoot this gun. Okay, well, here we're at 50 yards and we got some FX 1589s uh, here we're going to run. And uh, the Icon is a beginner PCP, basically for plinking in target. Uh, you could probably hunt you know rabbit and squirrel or something with it but it's basically set up like that but we're going to test it at 50 uh being an entry level pcp we'll see how she does here and see what kind of accuracy we get at 50 all right Holy cow. I didn't think today, day of days, I didn't think we'd see a, about a half inch group from the Icon. Uh, and the reason I'm impressed is because it is a 22. We are dealing with some a little bit of wind, which you can see over in the bamboo, but it's coming up past the target. I didn't think we'd see a group like that at, at 50 yards, but uh, that's outstanding. I like being surprised like that, Ryan. That's, that's excellent. All right, let's see what else we got. Okay, we're going to do a little chronograph test. Let's let's just talk about a couple things with the Icon, because it is different. It is entry level. I did say about plinking. One thing, its accuracy makes up for I what I think is a little lack of power. Um, we have the get the lead out here. We got one of, uh, one of those in, one or two of those in here, and we're going to shoot across the chronograph. Did we get a reading there? We did. 902. 902. It's advertised with 900 feet per second with uh, lead free. And that's exactly what it does. The 18s are under 800 feet per second. The 1589s, they're right around 810 to 820. And then you get down to 14 threes, and I think they sit around 840. So this thing isn't uh, shooting where I like to see the guns at 880 feet per second. But it's accuracy where it's at. It is super accurate. So take that for what it's worth. But I just wanted to go over that. And Ryan will show you the chronograph numbers and run through. Uh, and not having a huge air reservoir, you're not going to get a super ton of shots. But one thing you will enjoy is the accuracy. And uh, I kind of like the stock. I kind of like that, you know, the synthetic there that you can just go out and just be in the field with it and you're not worrying about scratching i, I kind of kind of like the gun it does come with the open sights and of course you see i removed it because of uh, any kind of i didn't want it to interfere with the scope so i took them off but it does come with a fiber optic open sight and uh let's see what else we can get into you can see it's a longer trigger pull surprising two pounds 14 ounces okay three pounds four ounces so it's going to be sitting right around the three pound trigger pull 
and you can hear you know of course you can see that we got the Donny FL koi on here how quiet it really is guys do you think that what you're hit it's super quiet isn't it it is yeah I think that uh, you, you and what I like that it comes that way you can I mean you can it's strutted and ready to go so again it's a beginner PCP and then to come with the little features like this is pretty nice I think so just wanted to show you guys that outstanding all right Ryan final thoughts let's do it all right okay here we are at the end of the video um, just to want to talk a little bit of pro a little bit of con and I think the one thing that kind of bumped out to me a little bit while I was shooting it I could see and is when I would squeeze the trigger and of course you shoot the shot that bolt would do this we'd see that bolt come up like this that is a con but as far as the that's like the one little thing it didn't it didn't come back didn't do anything it just came up in the air like that so I saw the movement of it but as far as the pros the number one pro of this thing was the accuracy super super accurate super impressed with that I definitely like the stock I like the rubber butt pad back here and I like that it comes for 280 bucks and you can put a moderator on here and it has open sights there's some big pros to this for that price point and you know you're getting a 10 shot mag this is Rick with Shooter 1721 thanks for watching